Boomstick him. Don't care if you catch it. Let me just hit stick it. Is he gonna throw this? What's up, everybody? It's Chu Flocka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we got a, a video I'm super excited about. I wanted to do 15 AP on like a unusable card like Bobby Bell. I was gonna do it on McKinney. But I got around. I did not expect this golden ticket to come out. So now we got a golden ticket clowny. We're going to slap 15 AP on him, maxing out the AP slots. See what we could do with him on defense. Maybe get a turnover or a forced fumble. Or even hold the defense to zero points. Something crazy. But make sure to turn on those noties. I do post a video every single day. And also make sure to drop a like on this one. Anyways, let's get right into it. As you guys can see right here on defense, we do have 15 AP and it's activated on him already. Let's take a look on what we do have on him. We do have out my way, dominant impact against wide receivers and halfbacks, tight ends. N n just kind of a filler there. We got enforcer for 2 AP. We got deflator for 2 AP. We got lurker on him. So you guys can get this for 4 AP, but I kind of had to stretch it out. You know how it is. And to fit everything in here. And we do have film study on him. So we will be able to see his play calls. After a certain amount of chances, he's used it. So, if he keeps using a play, we will see it more often. I mean, this card is insane. Everybody knows how good this card truly is. 95 speed, 98 excel, 92 strength, 99 tackle, 99 play rack, 98, 99, and a 99 for the pass rushing. I mean, it's insane. We're going to be putting him on the end. And I think I'm going to pull him into coverage unless I can get him into sub linebacker. I don't think you can. But anyways, let's get into a game and let's make some plays. It looks like we'll be taking on the Ravens right here in our first game. He has Clowney himself, bringing him in coverage. We're going to have X wide open over the middle. Like I said, I really just want to get on defense in this gameplay. I just want to go off with Clowney. And play of the game, can we turn up? I really want to score pretty fast here. Like I said, I'm just rushing to that defense. He is just pulling Clowney into coverage, as you guys can see right here. Clowney just a bit slow right there for our new addition, Mark Bavaro, on our Browns team team. He looks actually solid on a Brown Steam team. A lot of people look at that card and they think, eh. And, but on a Brown Steam team, 90 blocking as well. Hey, I'll take it. He's big, 6'4". He's not, I don't know if he's as good as Julius Thomas in the catching game. But when it comes to actual being a tight, he's kind of like that George Kittle, the Travis Kelsey, if that makes sense. But right here, next play of the game, we are moving the ball to 20 plus yard plays. Can we get another stop here? He is not going to rush again. Looks like we're going to have a wide open touchdown. Braylon Edwards to start off the game. Let's get in the defense. We need that turnover. Good news is he's actually, I'm pretty sure he's actually playing inside of a full house base right here. This is probably our best case scenario. You can see Jadavion Clowney, six foot four as well. We'll be able to lay down a hit stick deflator. We have like literally everything on him. How do I check abilities again? Right here. Look at that. Just look at that right there. That is insane to think about. Looks like we might get this hit stick off and we're going to completely throw right there. And he's going to break a tackle. I mean, I guess that's better that we didn't get the fumble right there, but if we would have hit it with Clowney, that would have definitely been a fumble. Would have definitely made the gameplay a lot better, but I completely whiffed it. I went for the hit stick. We all have those plays. We all know we do. But, hey, I'll take a – if he's going to be a big, um, like, quarterback guy, I'm, I'm down for it. I am definitely down for it. He does have lurker, like I said, so that would be huge if we can get some lurker hit. We already get a stop right there, Brian Dawkins. It seems like – I don't know. Every time I do a gameplay on a certain player on defense, last time we did it on Lawrence Taylor, I haven't done a defensive gameplay in a while. It seems like every time another player takes away the spotlight. So I really don't want this guy to quit right away. We did get that big fumble, but let's see what he heads into here. Like I said, trying to score fast. That's all we need right now. Fast scoring, fast scoring. Looks like we're going to have Y. Oh my God, his clowny could have picked that too. Right, next play, can we get anything? Looks like he's going to be a man maybe here. I think we might have Bavaro. This might be a risky throw. It is going to be risky, and we're going to throw an interception. I Honestly, I just want to keep this guy in the game. we be able to get another stop here. I want it to be with Clowney this time instead. This is the guy that, like I said, 15 AP. We need to get a stop with him. We're going to get a completely blocked right there. We get the deflator on him, and it registered a hit stick. So the running back is passed out now. You're going to see next play if Ricky Williams comes out. He is going to be passed out on the sideline. So he has a second running back. This guy is calling. He is taking forever for every single play call. It's getting a little tough. He's going to throw a flat right there again. And uh, nothing on the gain right there. I, I just wanted to throw over the middle. I want Like, give me a Texas route. 
I want him to throw me a Texas route. That would be amazing. Throw me a Texas route and let me just boom stick him. Don't care if you catch it. Let me just hit stick it. Is he going to throw this? Jadavian Clowney lurker interception over the middle. And we're probably going to get a pick six right here. Let's go, Clowney. For the gameplay, too, you love to see it. 15 AP worth seven points. Hey, I'll take that every day. Looks like he is staying for more. I like just calling Big Nick on, on next gen if you guys have not been able to tell. A lot of people, zones are really just what it is. It really just comes down to I adjust if they're breaking anything. But right here, it looks like he's going to run. And we're going to get the hit stick in the backfield deflator hit stick. If, he, if we would have fumbled right there, that would have been, that looks like college clowny right there. I'm not going to lie. That play right there looked a lot like, where was it East Carolina, South Carolina? I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not a college guy, but hey. He looked insane right there. I think it is South Carolina, if I'm going to be completely honest. If I had to take a guess in the dark there, I know one of you guys will let me know in the comments. But let's see what he's going to throw. He's going to throw that high ball over the middle. And Darren Waller, two broken tackles. We're going to probably have to put a mid-read up there. I'm going to put Isaiah Simmons, I think I have in there. I normally have John Johnson at the sub-linebacker, but I think Isaiah Simmons did take over. Like I was saying, if you do have a player like John Johnson or my... Uh, Derwin James, I have 4 AP on them normally. So 4 AP on Clowney, it's literally the same thing. We're trying to get outside here, and it looks like we're just going to get completely hogged down right there. And Lamar Jackson breaks another tackle from a 95 power plus player on my defense. I know to turn on the conservative for the QB like holds, but the thing I want to do here, I really want to make this gameplay so I can get another fumble or something with Clowney, and that might take Lamar getting hit stick. So if I take away his runs, it's not going to happen. Looks like he's going to pass the ball here, and I need a hard flat every play. I don't know what I'm doing. I, Lorenzo Neal, he has Lorenzo Neal. So this guy is a pretty solid team. I think he just likes to scramble a lot. That's why I got Lamar. I've seen very good players of Lamar, too. Like, there's those very bad players, and then there's those very, very good players. We're going to QB spy there, and we're going to hard flat, and he's going to get the run going, and we're going to get another hit stick from Clowney. No fumble again. It has to happen here soon. If we could shoot this gap on here, it's going to be a tough one. I do not have the personnel out there right now I normally would like to see here, but it looks like we're going to run up the middle, and we're going to stop him. Usually, it looked like he was going to get that read for it, but we get the stop right there, fourth and three. What will you do here? Clowney is looking, I don't know, amazing. Like, I'm at a loss for words. This card is like the best card in the game right now. Everybody could agree. He could play every position on defense. He could probably play safety. You can get him there. Middle linebacker, I'm showing you guys right now. Middle linebacker, easily one of the best in the game. Six foot four, just a bit speed closer. He's like literally like a better Isaiah Simmons Be like before he got the power. I don't, I don't even know if I would say that. Isaiah Simmons is so good. He's going to throw it up. And not get the fade to Des Bryant. We're going to stop him there again. Is he going to quit the game? I kind of want to punt him the ball. Let's punt him the ball for one more play. So, punting the ball right here. I just want to see one more big play before we end up making this guy quit. Looks like he's in a big tight end attack right here. Can we get a stop? What is he going to run here? I know he wants that deep post. He might be running the ball again here. We do not. Oh, he's not going to run the ball. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Let's see what he's going to do. Is he going to throw any of these? J.J. Watt is going to get a sack right there. Next play, third and 21. He's taking timeouts like this game matters. He's going to throw that flat. There's no way he doesn't throw this post right here. And he's going to beat me over top, and he will get the third down conversion. All right, let's see. Play action. Are we going to get a QB a QB uh, read option. It looks like we are. Will I be able to get the hit stick with Clowney? He's going to run away from Clowney. He doesn't care about contact. He just cares about Clowney. All right. Third or second and seven. Can we get a stop here? Looks like we're not going to. I don't know. I want him to run the ball. I think that's our best case scenario. Let's see if he's going to throw that. Where is he going to throw here to here? Can we throw this running back? I want to throw that running back. He's just going to throw it away there. Stop. Kind of don't want to stop. Not going to lie. But then again, I do. He's going to throw that right into a hard flat, and Dion plays it terribly. He is going to hard snap us here, or quick snap us. Let's see what he's going to do. Will he run the ball? No, he's not. He's going to throw this quick, I believe, and he has a slant over the middle, wide open, and Clowney's going to come and get that deflator lit up. I don't know if that actually worked on him there. In the ball, finally, and here he goes. He's going again. Can we get stopped, boys? We just need to watch this middle right here. This is kind of my fault, but I'm trying to play this. Like, he's playing very weird. He throws up a fade at our 99 corner, Brian Poole, for an interception. So this guy's definitely not going to quit at all this game. I don't believe he will. I mean, might as well try to finish him off here. What is he going to do? He has Clowney. Looks like we're going to have this post wide open. That's not really a beater, but it's been working like a beater lately. I don't know. 
Maybe that's the finisher. Will he be leaving after this play? The world may find out here in five, four, three. Ah, uh, he's not leaving, man. What do I have to do? All right, man. Just quit the game, please. Just please quit the game. He's he's running the ball down thirty. Oh my God! Did you guys just see Clowney destroy that lineman right there? What did it, well, for? I mean, it wasn't even a highlight play. Basically, we're so excited that this game that we're literally killing linemen play i am kind of like deflated right now i don't know it just doesn't feel that very entertaining beating somebody that clearly doesn't belong in legend division like i said i genuinely have no clue how i'm matched up with this guy it's kind of unfair but i guess that's just the way of next gen we're gonna get blocked right there Deion sanders laying a boomstick fourth and one i think if we stop him here he's gonna quit there's no way there's just no way let's see mark ingram is the running back on the field he's gonna throw this slant and no we're gonna get the sack Aaron Donald right there and he's finally gonna quit the game boys we did it we made him quit the game it took him 20 down 21 we punted the ball we one play bombed him just to show you guys right here it was legend like I said I have no clue why I got matched up with that guy but anyways, I am still transitioning right now but I appreciate you guys being here that was one of the most fun gameplays I've ever recorded I think it's doable, but why would you do? I say you the best abilities for him are probably the deflator enforcer and lurker. You can get that for four AP, or you can leave him on the line and use edge threat or edge threat pro or whatever it's called, edge threat elite. I think that is also a good way. But I enjoy this. Make sure to smash the like button for more videos just like these, and also turn on those notes. I do post every single day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.